welcome to Feed the Beast Beta 1.5.2 with Greg Tech. You are now watching Chronicles of Kiona. It's me, Kiona. This is where I've been for the past couple of weeks. Or actually, today is day 11 on this base. Or on this world, too. Because of the fact that we had to do a reset after some corruption when we tried to go to 0 0.8. But we're on 0 0.7 for... FTP beta right now. And so I'm going to start this off by giving you a little tour of the base. And then we are going to move on to making a medium voltage solar array. I have the last of the solar panels making in the assembly chain right now. They take ages and it's really not worth sitting there recording while they do that. Right where I started off, that is my identic bees. They sit there and they well, come on. They have uh, explore effects, so they give us nice levels. Underneath there, I have routers that are prepared to have more APRs set up in the future. But I only had the time to breed two bees, and I don't have the machines to sit there and do everything yet. In this glass roofed house right here is our bee building. Well, that's what I call it. This is our agricultural ME system. That's why it's green. And it's for anything farm related, bee related, or tree related. And over here we have our squeezer, which is taking all our chestnuts and turning it into nice little seed oil. And we have our carpenter and centrifuge as well. We're gonna automate some of that stuff later. And this is our tank, which, as you can tell, I have seed oil cells in here. It's just when we first started, I was making ruby and titanium, so I had a bunch of empty cells, and I didn't even realize that three pieces of tin make 12 cans. So it's much more efficient to sit there and use tin instead of cells, since I need cells for everything else. This is where I have bred all my trees, though. I have the yellow marinci sapling, and obviously the sweet chestnuts over there. This is our water tank for our multi-farm. And here's our multi-farm. I'll take you down there real quick so you can see our setup. And I apologize now that the noise has started, but I am recording during the day and so the kids are not asleep. And they do not understand the concept of stay upstairs and be quiet. They want to be downstairs and yelling. When you have eight kids in one household, three of them mine, and five of them belonging to my brother, and there is a lot of sibling and cousin rivalry. Okay, now as you can see, I have even more chestnuts saved up here, and I've only used three fertilizers since this started. Yeah, I think I really need to get some automation in effect to take those chestnuts and turn them into a seed oil. Or at least store them. <laughs> Let's just drop them off in the squeezer. Right, since I listen to, I think that's my niece singing. It's one of the three-year-olds. My son just turned three last week on Thursday. Thursday, July 11th. And my niece has been three since May, so. Yeah. Okay, now this building right here is our main survival room. The reason why we call that is we had no intention of living in a mountain. We started in the mountain just to get everything set up because in this version of Greg Tech, you cannot leave your machines out in the open. They blow up due to rain and everything else. <laughs> right here we have enchanting table, creosote tank that's empty, <laughs> automated coke ovens, blast furnaces, industrial blast furnace, my lava tank that's dwindling. Our machines, which are not automated, and as you can see, it's still taking its time making those solar panels for me. Our MJ machines, our ME system, which yes, I have 60, or I have 10 64k drives, only two in which are not used. Iron tank, our iron bleh, furnaces that need to be moved. Pulverizer, ages, which default age no pages 
ended up having a jungle and a hell biome, and that's how I got my identic bees without having to risk the nether. Our oil and water. That's how we have water tanks. We have two water tanks. I'll show the other one in a little bit. We have an oil tank. And our quarry world. We have eight quarries. We were the first people on the server to set up a quarry, but we were not the first to have a quarry. We just had the power first to do it. We had the tesseracts. So, but Walmart employee and somebody I call Dachi, I can't pronounce his name. I'm not going to spell it out had four quarries before I was even thinking of quarries. As soon as they announced it, or Dutchie announced it, told me it, I instantly got into quarry mode. Stayed up eight hours to make quarries and energy tesseracts. Of course, item tesseracts as well. I had the materials, so it wasn't really that big a deal. I'm just taking it slow this time. I was working on bees. I've spent the last week working on bees. Six days, actually. I'm not paying attention to everyone else and just working on bees. Okay. Oh. My sister in law is being a little loud. Sorry about that. I don't know if it's picking up or not. Right here, we have our recyclers, which takes all, in, takes all of our dirt. And one moment. Well, we are just going to have to deal with that little bit of background noise. I realized it was my three-year-old, not my five-year-old, that was in here making the noise. Sometimes he can sound like a little girl. Sorry. But my recyclers automatically take every bit of dirt that comes in from the quarries and turns them into scrap. And that powers my generators. Of course, I could always add coal coke because we have an excess of coal coke. And to where the generators can always be running. And this is... Our item tesseracts, as you can see, are, like I told you already, eight quarries. All on owner only, so I can't even get Noah to sit there and place them for me. It's really annoying. And over this way, we will take you down to our power. First stop by and say, hello, villagers. A page I don't want, but I don't have any books on me to change it. And, of course, it would be nice to get some more emeralds from the villager. Ooh, he has something new. Ooh, knowledge fragments, but it's not worth a one of adept. So every one of these MFSUs, MFSUs are full and ticking slowly. But they're staying full, and that's all that matters. I think I need to get another one. And all these MFEs. We started with MFEs, of course. This is our generators, which take our scrap and turn them to power. Our thermals and our semi-fluids. I did a semi-fluid for every coke oven. I should have done half of that. And if we go down here, we will take you to a lava pit that's not powering my... As you can see, my engine down there is not on, and the tesseract's not working. So I'll have to check into that later. And our portals. Uh, and that's pretty much the gist of the base, unless you wanted to see the rubber trees. And yes, I'm flying around. That is slash fly. It is a donator and above option. But we don't have any donators for beta. So I really shouldn't be playing around with it, but I'm using it for mainly this episode. But yeah, this is my rubber room. Which is another thing we can automate later. And this is where my solar panels were stored which now though they have some visual glitches once in a while with the glass fiber cables but they are perfectly working fine they are connected even when they don't look like it oh my goodness it's still going oh it's on the last one yay Hold that in there until we get this last one. It's almost done. Almost done. Almost done. One moment. Constant interruptions. I'm sorry about that. Like I said, it's during the day. It is currently 6.56 p.m. The kids are waiting for dinner, which my sister-in-law is cooking right now. And normally I record about midnight. I just don't feel like staying up tonight. I'm freaking tired. And I just... Bought Cube World. 
And I wanted to play some of that too, so. Yep. Okay, there's our last solar panel. Mm, here we go. Thank you. And now we throw that LB back in there. We don't need two MVs. And we have our medium voltage. This only does 64 EU per tick, but it's better than having 64 solar panels. Yes, a full stack of solar panels, which I can easily, well, I know I could do it with the low voltage array. I haven't even checked with the medium voltage, so let's check real quick. Yeah, I can easily take them um, out like that to give our solar panels and all that back when we go to make advanced solar panels, I think. Let me see. I think they're required for the advanced. Yeah, they're required for the advanced. Ooh, I could have a solar helmet right now. Don't need one. I'm perfectly fine with my nano. And I keep falling through holes. Oh my. I need to patch that up. No one did that. It was originally three wide all the way down, but he made a tunnel going all the way to the B area to run the power for the MEs and stuff. Which I'm using the energy tesseract for the M MJ, so I should have just sat there and put the uh, power converter over there instead. Oh well. I didn't even realize there was a hole right there to that. But we're going all the way up here to place this down. Boom. Which it won't generate power right now because it's night. It is. In game. 12.40 a.m. So yes, we have a few Minecraft hours to go. Which is what? Five minutes? But... Yes, I am looking forward to the future of the channel. I am getting into a better format for our episodes with Be The Beast Ultimate to where they won't be 30 plus minutes long. I'll try to keep them all under 30 minutes. We're going to be continuing on with this Be The Beast beta series. You know, improving this base. We need an assembly chamber. We need some automation. We need bee automation. Come on. You know, and I need to work on some breeding and all that. And maybe next episode we'll sit there and work on a fermenter and a steel. Because uh, Daft Boy was sitting there going around making, talk about making uh, diesel engines. And I haven't looked into it yet. I'm just going straight on his word. And what else? We're also bringing a new game to the channel. It is fresh and just recently available to buy. It is Cube World. It's an alpha. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. And I'll be starting on that tonight. Probably get an episode of that out shortly. Who knows? It'll be quite embarrassing if I get that episode of that out before I get the episode of this one out. I, so I am just going to fast forward time. One moment. Get out of recipe mode. Horrible, I know. Here we go. And if I get my EU reader out. Fifty. Uh, that was messed up. You see that? Negative? So I don't even think it's taking our full power out. Nope, look. It all depends. Looks going in and out. So yeah, I think we're about ready to get some automation. You know, and maybe, like I said, we need assembly chamber. We need machine automation here for our chrome and our titanium and our silicon. We need a matter fab so we can get our advanced solar panels out. And we need to work on getting our valuable bees so we can get some platinum and you know, more iridium and all that. So, this has been Kiona, Chronicles of Kiona, and I hope to see you again next time.
Remember to like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and everything else. I will start doing a stream every weekend if I can. It shouldn't be a problem. In the evenings or late at night on my Twitch channel. All Forms Media, Kiona BT. I do not have a Facebook that's open to the public. But I have Twitch, Twitter. You know, so... I will see you guys next time. Take care. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot. I don't know if I mentioned it in this recording because I've had like six takes to the background noise and I finally just gave up on trying for pure silence. But I'd like to congratulate Lost Falcons on winning the Quantum Challenge. The Quantum Challenge was made up by Noah. Where you had to start, I think it was Thursday, on the rules of finding iridium in the wild only. No bees, no matter. Are you, you matter. And you have to get a quantum suit, full quantum suit. Not gravity chest, but a full quantum suit. And a matter fab. Without any outside help, including websites. And no help from your original base, nothing. Starting from scratch. So Lost Falcon won that by himself. Not even partnered up. And it had a free ultimate hybrid sol solar panel. On top of that, Lost Falcon also discovered a bug in the module force build system mod. That's with FTB beta I'd like to warn you all about. And that is... If you are at someone's base. And you teleport home. Like with Townie. Or say you have permissions to move with the... Uh, in our, the Voltex and all that. But you teleport home. If they turn on the force field system, the defense system in particular, we haven't tried anything else, but the defense system in particular, minutes, I say it was about 15 minutes, 5 to 15, somewhere around there, after they have left doing like T-spawn or something. You know, like I said, they teleported out and back to their base. It will kill them. You will get their stuff. So, there's that bug, which we're going to report to FTB. We're going to see if it's reported or not. I think Frostbuck has already done it, but I've informed Noah that Noah so he can talk to other people who work with plugins, who can sit there and get a bullet around it as well, because they can fix that too. So, that's it. And it is really fun. I don't know. So, I will see you guys next time. And, like I said, peace out.